welcome back to my channel and before I start I just want to say I had to do this video I had to make it I wanted to take my mind off things my eyes off the news and I needed something just to get away and I hope you guys see that as well like it's just nice to even if it's just 15 20 minutes just focus on something else so it made me happy to do the video and I I needed it as well so in today's video, I did something pretty cool, I think. I purchased the e.l.f. Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette. This is cream and sugar. I also purchased the Bite Size of Pumpkin Pie. And they are, I think, like $3 each. So I also have the Natasha Denona Mini Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I shared this on my Instagram stories of how similar these products are. And I wanted to show you how similar they are. So before I go on any further, if you've been watching my channel for a while and you haven't subscribed, go ahead, hit that button. If you're new, my name is Christy and I'm so glad you're here. And without further ado, I really wanna show you how I did it. So, because like seriously, you can't tell, like I could go out and you wouldn't be able to tell which one is which or that there are even two different eyeshadow palettes. So with that said, I'm gonna get right into the video and let's do it. As you can see in the Natasha Denona Mini Nudes eyeshadow palette, there are five shades. In the Bite Size Elf eyeshadow palettes, you have four shades. That's a difference, but you can still create a look that is very, very similar, right? Now, this is what I observed. This color in the Natasha Denona, uh, the Mini Nudes, it has this perfect transition shade, but in the Elf palette, and this is the Cream and Sugar, you have this color right here, and it is a good, I mean, it could be used as a transition color, but I think it's a bit too light. So if you really wanted to create a look very similar to from the colors that you could get from here, you would have to take the Pumpkin Pie Bite Size from e.l.f. and the Cream and Sugar, and just mix this color with this color. And you will get it. It may not be 100% the same, but I'm going to show you how close you're going to get to start with the Natasha Denona. And I'm actually going to be using my Sigma brushes for the Natasha Denona side and my BK Beauty brushes for my e.l.f. side. Okay, so I am going to powder down my eyes just with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish just because I don't want to alter the color, but I want to have a nice... I want my skin to be nice and smooth and I don't want to have any patchiness from um, any concealer or corrector that I put on my eyes. And I'm just going to grab that powder and just apply it all over my eyelids. And I'm going to do that on both eyes. Okay, I'm just going to apply from the Natasha Denona the color that I had mentioned. This is the transition color. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma, what is this? This is the E35 tapered blending brush. So I'm going to apply it to this eye. As you can see, that's a beautiful transition color and it's quite pigmented. I'm gonna bring it down a bit to the outer corner now with my blending brush, my 201 from BK Beauty, I'm going to apply from the e.l.f. Cream and Sugar Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to apply this color that I had mentioned, this light one, it's just a matte color. And I'm going to apply that first to my transition area right here on this eye. And you can already see it is lighter. So I will darken it up with the lightest color in the pumpkin pie eyeshadow palette. Okay, now I'm going to take a bit of this color that I had mentioned from the pumpkin pie, and I'm gonna use that same 201 brush from BK Beauty, and I'm just going to apply it. And there you have the color. It is, I mean, like I know I could go out with this makeup and nobody would know that on one eye I used e.l.f. and on the other eye I used the Natasha Denona. Nobody would know. It 
It is very similar. <laughs> and the blendability is very nice. Very, very nice. Very easy to work with. Now from the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna intensify my outer corner with this dark brown that you see here. It's like almost a maroon color. And it could be different, a, a bit different, slightly. I'm gonna try to make it work with both eyeshadow palettes. I think I can make it work. I'm gonna take my Morphe blending brush. This is the E25. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that color from the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna apply it right there to that outer corner. Bring it out a bit. Just like that. A bit into the crease. Now I'm going to take from the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, I am going to apply this color, which is a very dark brown, to the other outer corner. This is my BK Beauty 202. This is a tapered blending brush as well. Now I'm just going to blend that in with the blending brush that I was using to apply the transition color. I guess if I used a little bit of this color that I applied to um, darken my outer corner, I could even make it look a little bit more similar and that's what I'm going to do. Just going to apply it right on there because that has a little bit of like a warmth to it. Mm -hmm. the Natasha Denona I'm going to apply first I'm going to apply this color right here which is that it's like a very light champagne color which is very similar to this one from the elf so those are the two colors that I'm going to apply these colors are so pretty they really are pretty and they apply beautifully like it's Den Natasha Denona. Now I'm going to use my BK Beauty 203 and I'm going to apply that light color from the e.l.f. Bite Size Cream and Sugar eyeshadow palette. I'm going to apply it. Look, look at that. Oh my God. It, it looks so similar. It is like amazing. That one actually cost, what is it? $2.99 or $3.99 the e.l.f. Now I'm also going to apply this color that's right here from the Natasha Denona. I'm going to apply it to this. You see how I, I don't have a color that goes like in between this light champagne color and this dark brown color. So I wanna put something there just to smooth it over and have a, more of a melting effect of the colors. So I'm going to apply this bronzy color right here. I'm gonna use that same MAC brush. And I'm going to apply that right there in the middle, just tapping it on. Now I am so excited because I'm gonna use my Precision Collection from BK Beauty and I got the brushes yesterday and I shared it on my Instagram. They are just gorgeous. Let me just show you them quickly. This one and this one, okay. So you get, I got these five brushes in the collection. And so you have this, this, this I know I am going to use so much. This is um, the, their 208 and it's like 
it's like just a brush to line your eyes and it's so tiny it has like this perfect shape and i know you could really make like the most beautiful winged out look with this just at least like just to line it and get that very precise line that's what this is for and then she has this is the 206 this is the brush that i'm going to use now just to apply it it's a little long and i'm just going to apply it right there between those two colors and just to make that smoothing effect of the colors she has this pencil brush it's a little thicker than the one that i usually use or the one from sigma you see it's a little thicker it's a little rounder but i have a feeling that if you want to use it and i didn't use it now i should have for that outer corner just to make that darkness right there in that outer corner this is an awesome brush for that I think this, this is the 107, but it looks like it would be perfect to apply your blush. It, I have, I'm a very petite person. I'm very small and my face is very small. So my cheeks aren't like that big. And so it's like perfect for this cheek area. Now this brush, and I was so wanting for her to come out with a brush like this, because this brush is like perfect for this this area right here for applying highlighter or putting powder under your eyes this brush is great for that so yeah i'm so excited over that and i just wanted to share that with you yeah. i'm gonna go right into that elf eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna apply this color to make that softening of the the melting of those colors the, that champagne and the darker one and this is the first time i'm using this brush so let's see wow the quality of like i you expect it from the natasha denona but i don't mean to say anything bad but i don't expect it from eyeshadows that cost three dollars like and the quality is so nice and like i could go out like this and nobody would know that i use different palettes so i'm just gonna say that again I'm gonna smooth everything over in my transition area again. Now I'm going to apply right underneath my lash line, my lower lash line. I'm gonna use the Natasha Denona and I'm just gonna run this right underneath my lashes like I usually do. And I'm also gonna grab some of that maroon's color and i'm gonna go right over it again you see i think some of the colors are slightly different but once you start mixing them together and blending them out they look very very alike now i'm going to use my smudge brush from bk beauty and i'm going to apply this color and I'm going to then apply this color just to make it similar to the other eye and I'm going to apply some of the brown. Okay, let's take that darker one. I'm going to take the brown, that dark brown from the e.l.f. palette and I'm just going to run that right over it with the same smudge brush. I'm going to blend that out just a little bit using the BK Beauty. This is the, what's the number? 207. Just blend it out a bit. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish and right underneath my eyebrow on my brow bone because really neither one of them have a great color for my brow bone. So I'm just gonna use the powder. I think that'll work. 
Now I'm going to take my gel eyeliner from ColourPop. It's brown and I'm going to, I'm going to do the same on both eyes. I'm going to go right in the waterline on my upper lash line. I used to be able to make the line so much easier, but as my eyes have aged, the skin around my eyes have aged, I noticed that like it's harder. Like sometimes I do have to pull it a bit and I don't want to pull it to not create more wrinkles, but it's a little hard to get in there. So if you have to, well, then so be it. I hope just doing this a little while helps us all. Like it's entertaining me, taking me away from watching the news, which I'm always watching these days. And, and I hope it helps you guys as well, just to take your mind off serious things and just lighten up just for a little while. Because seriously, like, as soon as something happens, I don't sleep at night. I am just one of those people that I lose sleep over everything. So it's like, it doesn't matter what time you're up. If you have, if my friends don't know who to call or my family, call me, I'll be up because that's just the way these days are for me. And like, I'm up since yesterday, I got up at 3.30 in the morning. Today I got up at five o'clock in the morning for no reason. So this is very good. I think it's healthy to just get away a little while. I'm gonna run this a little bit on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna use the BK Beauty angled brush. I, I already know I love this. I knew I was gonna love this brush as soon as I saw it. This is the Dior Show Mascara. What are your thoughts like on eyelash extensions? I've been thinking about it. I I love the way mascara looks. I don't like the way it feels when I have to wash it off at the end of the day or like in between videos. I wanted to do two different looks, but I want to apply the mascara and to wash off the mascara just to start another video. By the, By the way, I'm just using my Thrive Cosmetics liquid liquid lash extension the mascara for my lower lash line I'm thinking yeah about those eyelash extensions see how it goes okay end result and my gosh like really you cannot tell the difference and the quality is there the colors are there yes I had to play with two eyeshadow palettes to make it identical but if you're not gonna be doing what I did today, that I used this one on one eye to prove a point, you could just go with one eyeshadow palette and basically get a look that is very similar if you didn't want to buy both eyeshadow palettes. So I am very excited over that. I'm always excited when I could get a great find or a good bargain and that something that actually works this well makes me happy and it makes me happy to be able to share it with all of you. So I hope you did enjoy it. I thought it was fun. If you liked it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with someone who you think may like it as well. And until the next time, bye.